Yeah, yeah you know, I maybe didn't uh, put on put combinations together as, uh, as I should have been. I probably relied on one shot. I uh, just tried to get that very impressive knockout. Um, I guess it didn't work my way. You know, I tried to keep the fight standing, obviously. I came forward just like I said I would. I did not take a step back. Um, you know, I guess uh, Phil had done a good job. You know, he just kind of wrestled me and uh, held me down well, and I couldn't really get the space to get up in time enough uh, to get, you know, uh, my game plan in place. And then before I knew it, the fight was over and I lost, so um, that's the way it goes. I just like to give a message to my Russian fans, if you don't mind, in Russian. Um, ребята, большое всем спасибо за поддержку. Я вас очень всех благодарю. Забит. Извини, конечно, что сегодня у меня не получилось выиграть. Поэтому я думаю, наверное, теперь наш бой с тобой не получится. Но все же я тебе желаю успешной карьеры. Ты очень хороший боец. Мне очень нравятся твои бои. И, в принципе, именно поэтому я и хотел с тобой встретиться, потому что я никогда легких путей не ищу. Ну, как я уже сказал, желаю тебе всего наилучшего в Шанхае. Надеюсь, ты выиграешь этот бой для нашей страны, для России. Большое тебе спасибо. Um, you caught him with some good shots and you, he kept coming forward. Was he better than you thought he was? Um, not sure. I mean, I, I got caught with the, with the head kick. That was obviously like, you know, a big enough shot that sort of put me out of um, off my feet for a second. But I recovered well and I felt I felt fine in there. The other shot, I mean, yeah, it opened me up, but I wasn't really feeling them much. That's why I, I felt there was no even need to almost block them. You know, I, I was able to absorb those shots, no problem, and put the pressure on. And uh, uh, I felt like the knockout was close. I did catch him a few times, but, uh, you know, it's... it's, it's, it's it's quite hard in there, you know, to kind of think under pressure and I don't know, just that, that's the way it worked out. So what can I do now? We saw Connor come in and he was obviously ring octagon side and supporting you. Does that put more pressure on you sometimes when he's there or do you like it? Not at all. You know, uh, myself and Connor, we had each other back from, from day one and we will continue to do so till the end. And what did he say to you just now when you came off? Yeah, just, you know, obviously giving his support and uh, offering some advice on what I should have done in the fight, which is always good. He's taught me a lot uh, in the fight game and outside. So uh, uh, he continues to teach me a lot of good things. I know it's a little bit early, but any thoughts? Where you go next? Any What you do? Um. I don't know, to be honest, I mean, them, them takedowns, I've, I've had a few losses like that on my on my record where guys just take me down and hold me down. Uh, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, chancing my arm at, uh, in boxing. I, I do know I have a contract with the UFC. I don't know, I'll talk to them, I'll ask them, would they, you know, uh, release me maybe and allow me to take a few boxing fights? Um, I don't know what the story holds, but um, I'll be in touch and as soon as I know, you guys will know. And last, any boxers on your mind, Paulie Malinaji? Uh, Paulie wouldn't be a bad fight. Um, I know he's after big paydays, he's retired, so he might not be interested in a fight against me, but if he was, I'd be all for it.